I want to answer the following question that was posted on Quora. I'm thinking about buying a rental property but know little about it. My brother lives in the area and would be managing it. What should I learn about or keep in mind as, as I consider this? This is a very good question uh, for a beginner investor. At the same time, it's a very, very um, wide or broadened type of a question. The details of uh, investing in real estate and actually starting are many. So let me uh, just touch on a couple of points that you want to consider. In my mind, from my experience, the first thing you want to know in your mind is what are you trying to accomplish here? And what do I mean? Is this a rental property or a buy and or a fix and flip? For example, is it you know, residential, commercial, etc. I'm not going to go into all those details. I just want to make sure you go through the process of trying to determine at least what is your plan about doing so. When you have your plan, and the reason I mean, I'm, say, I'm emphasizing this as the first point, when you have your plan, you can go and say, okay, now I know what type of property you know, um, to look for. You know, run down property to fix it up or a good, nice quality single family home, for example, in an area that I can rent it. The second thing you want to know is about yourself. What type of an investor, you know, even if you're not experienced, you are. Meaning, do you have the time to handle all those issues? Okay, I mean, not just having a property manager or your brother act as a property manager. Will you have time to handle any issues? Will you have the stamina to, um, to withhold the periods the property is vacant and maybe it takes a month or two you know, to hold it? Will you have the funds to hold the property while it's vacant for a month or two or so? All of those are some of the, you know, some of the aspects of, the, of investing in real estate or at least starting out. Then uh, one point I want to make, I have a video that specifies what are the team members you need on your team when you're investing in real estate. So you may want to check it out and see what kind of uh, individuals you want to have on your team. Now, I want to say one, one thing about you know, using your brother as a property manager. So first of all, just so you know, most property managers charge you know, monthly based on the rent. So that means they have some sort of a fee which is normally not a very high fee. Using a property manager may be more smart for, you know, on your hand instead of using your brother. Your brother, if he's a, assuming he's not a property manager, you may be punishing him when you, wanna, you, know, when you, when you want him to manage your properties or property. So that's one thing to, to, to compare. If you're buying a property in the area your brother is buying, and assuming he's not a real estate investor, or at least not an experienced in, in a real estate investor, you want to be aware of what your brother may see as a good investment what, versus what you may consider a, you know, a good investment. So there is, you know, so I've, I've had investors who went and invested in areas and asked their family members who live in that area, and their responses many times were, no, 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 don't go there, it's a bad area, or something of that sort. And in their mind, you know, compared to their lifestyle, it's a bad area or not a good area as they, may, they would want to live in. But you're an, as an investor, you might want to say, maybe this area I don't want to live here, but it's maybe an area I would consider uh, investing in. So you want to kind of revisit the point of using your brother altogether, both to consult with because he's local, but, and secondly, would you want to punish him, assuming it's a punishment to be a process, you know, property manager to manage your properties. Is he capable of managing them, you know, those properties? How are your relationship right now and how are your relationship may be if you feel he's not doing a, well, you know, a good enough of a job for you? So that's something uh, um, uh, to remember. One more point I want to say, when you are a real estate investor, I think it's very important when you analyze and compare multiple properties you would want to consider investing in. Okay, so not just go and say, okay, this is a property I want to, uh, you know, invest in. Actually, take a bunch of them, look at them, and try to analyze, um, analyze and compare them one to another. In one of my videos, I will talk about how, analyze, how to analyze and compare multiple properties when trying to, uh, you know, to make a decision.